All right, so let's now move to the big story of the day, and that is what happened at uh, the Kasatu conference. Day one of the conference is normally a day for a procedure, for getting things going slowly. But of course, it all turned quite dramatic when ANC chairperson Gwede Mantashe tried to take to the stage. Well, he did take to the stage, but then uh, he was pretty much booed off. Let's speak now to our reporter who's been covering day one of Kasatu's conference, Slendela Masikane. So, Sli, um, I'm going to start with a few, uh, just a, a little clip of the visuals, uh, because it was a group of angry delegates who basically told him to go. Let's take a quick listen before we chat. Comrade leader. All right, so let's bring in Slindela Masikana now. So, Sli, you were there as that was unfolding. Talk to me uh, about what happened, what the unhappy delegates were saying to you, uh, and whether Gwede Mantashi was actually able to address the conference in the end. You know, Sally, things started off quite calmly this morning. In fact, uh, it looked as though this was going to be the beginning of what was going to be a quite a, su a successful uh, 14th National Congress for uh, Kosatu. We had spoken to uh, the president, that is Zingus Walosi, this morning, who told us that there were over 2,000 delegates accredited, um, that, uh, you know, we were going to ha get a couple of reports this morning. In fact, when she spoke uh, this morning, it seemed uh, as though that uh, she was essentially warning the ANC ahead of 2024 with regards to the frustrations of workers and working conditions on the ground. Um, during her address to uh, the delegates, she then mentioned how the ANC uh, essentially needs to self-correct. And this is the calm, I think, before the storm, uh, before we saw those visuals that you have just played right now. So let's just take a listen to uh, Zingis Walosi and her warning to the ANC before uh, the chaos began. Comrade leadership, the left axis of the alliance must be strengthened. Workers have sent a clear message to the ANC in the local elections. And if the ANC does not get its act together, if the ANC does not deliver quality public services, if it does not tackle corruption, if it does not fix ESCOM, if the ANC does not save metro rail and transnet, if it does not grow the economy, if it fails to create jobs and provide relief for the unemployed, then we will face a repeat of the disastrous 2021 election results in 2024. No doubt about that. So President Zingiswa Lossi, she's guaranteed another term. I think she was uh, not opposed uh, for that position again. Um, you'll correct me if I'm wrong. But when ANC Che Gwede Mantashe got up to speak, uh, things really got quite dramatic. Talk us through that and what happened afterwards. Yeah, that's when things took a turn for the worst, um, Sally. I think it took us all by surprise. Um, you know, uh, the ANC chair, Gwede Mantashe, was then called up to address the, the delegates. I mean, this is uh, the Tripartite Alliance member. And, of course, we are expecting them to have a presence here at the Congress. As soon as uh, Mr. Mantashe then made his way to the podium, uh, a group of uh, delegates just would not allow him to even address or greet uh, delegate members. They were chanting Asina Mali. They were chanting uh, that uh, Mandashe must go. They were, you know, waving their hands telling um, uh, leadership here at the Congress that they will not and do not want to hear from the ANC and uh, citing issues around the fact that uh, workers in, in particular in 
in government and in the public sector have not uh, been receiving their wage increases um, and that uh, has boiled over to actual frustration uh, from these delegates and their members saying that they cannot allow Mr. Mantasha to speak because their members are completely um, unhappy with the manner in which the ANC-led government um, has essentially what they say abandoned workers um, and are stuck in what they also describe as an abusive relationship. So Mr. Mantashe did not speak, but uh, we had an opportunity to then uh, doorstop him after lunch. This is what he had to say. If workers are, are angry because of increases, that is a collective bargaining issue. Uh, if you want to make it an alliance issue, you are committing a mistake. It's not an alliance issue. It's a collective bargaining issue. And in the collective bargaining, there is leadership of workers and leadership of the employer. After I wish I could join them. I, I'm five years now in government. I've never got an increase. So, I, but I don't demonstrate this way. Okay. All I'm saying is that there are formal structures which have nothing to do with the political setup. They are technical. They are structures that are meant by bureaucrats, and bureaucrats must do their work in those structures. The bargaining council is not managed in the Congress. It's not managed in the two levels. All right, so Mantasha is saying this is not an issue of the alliance. Um, however, the workers clearly are unhappy. And as yet, he has not taken to the stage to make that address. Is he going to, Slee? <laughs> We don't know, sadly. We actually really don't know at this point. Uh, we had an opportunity to speak to the General Secretary of Kosati. You can actually see behind me that uh, the political report at this point is being um, delivered by Mr. Njali Jali. So we had spoken to him uh, before the Congress actually resumed, uh, and we posed that question to him, that uh, will Mr. Mandashe at any point during this Congress be allowed to speak? Um, let's just take a listen to what he had to say, because we know that this is going to have uh, material effects for the alliance. We don't know what it will mean for the alliance if the ANC is not allowed to um, address this particular Congress. So let's just take a listen to Mr. Njali Njali um, and what he had to say. Not, not uh, probably not today. We have agreed to talk to the to the delegates overnight, and probably we'll be speaking tomorrow. Maybe your sense as to what happened, is it a manifestation and a visual representation of just how frustrated workers are with the tripartite alliance, in particular the ANC-led government? I think it is a reflection, as you are hearing from the songs, they're talking about wage increase, the attack on collective bargaining, and I think it's, it's fixed on those bases. Remember, Workers regard the ANC as, as an employer because of the government, and it's understood in that context. Mm. Yes, well, we're hoping to analyse this in greater detail uh, because it is quite unprecedented what happened today. And it remains to be seen uh, whether Gwede Mantashe, the energy minister, chairman of the ANC, is actually going to be allowed to speak at that Kosato Congress. Thank you so much for bringing us the very latest on that. That's our reporter, Slindela Masikane.